that our troops always act in good faith. And where they go wrong, being human institution, we deal with the issues and lessons learned for the future. In fact, any discipline is never tolerated in the Ghana Armed Forces. I will promptly deal with them when it is okay. But to borrow the common expression, we do not have to always throw the baby away with the back word. Let me stress that by its nature, militaries are traditional and a bit conservative in outlook. And some things do not change, especially those in that impinge on the operational imperative, esprit de corps, and unit progression. The military exists for the ultimate purpose of defending the nation and managing any lethal force. We need them. We need the military always. And it was Sir Augustine Churchill of Blessed Man who once famously said, and I quote, every country has an army or in place of army, you can put a military force. But every country has a man. Either its own army, to be relevant, the military must remain grounded in professionalism and the military ethos of duty, of integrity, discipline, and honor. These attributes are essential in both peace and conflict. And the best form of welfare for troops is tough, realistic training to forge individuals and units into cohesive, disciplined whole who are capable to punch above their weights in combat. And here I mean victory at all times. My heart is too full of gratitude to which no tongue can give adequate expression. For how else could a boy from Bonnie Crack Room near Grandpa Town Domani area in the backwaters of the Umbrian region rise to be found? How at all are you possible? It has taken humility, respect for authority, perseverance, and above all, God's grace and mercy. Thank you very much, and God bless us all. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a successful chapter. A round of applause. Congratulations to the acting chief of defense staff, Rear Admiral Seth Amwano.